We are walking down the famous Larchmont Boulevard in Hollywood, California, known to filmmakers since the early days of movies. They used Larchmont because it was wider than usual, more private, and yet near the major studios. Down this boulevard roared the Model Ts filled with Keystone Cops and slapstick comics of the silent movies. But today it hosts the animators and artists who produced the films of Charlie Brown and Garfield. This is the studio of Bill Melendez. These three houses are used for offices and production. An unusual situation, but makes working easier and more enjoyable. Let's start here and get a glimpse of how animated films are made. This is the receptionist, Sherry Mason. And this area is a showcase for the many awards and honors which the studio has earned in its 20-year history. Bill Melendez founded the studio in 1963 and moved into these houses in 1964. These Emmys have been won by programs such as A Charlie Brown Christmas, You're a Good Sport, Charlie Brown, Life is a Circus, Charlie Brown, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This neon caricature of Bill was a gift from his employees. Yo, uh, Bill Melendez, and uh, here's Bill. Morning, Bill. Morning, coming in. Uh, I noticed you have uh, quite a few antiques in the office. I wonder if we could take a look at them. Sure. Let's start with a polyphone. Okay. Here's this polyphone, early 19th century music box, I guess made by um, Austrians for English pubs. Kind of a nice piece. Then back. Pride and Joy is this desk, which is a uh, 17th century naval officer's desk. I don't know why, I guess so seasick. Why should I be interested in naval officer things? It's un uh, unclear to me. And of course, this, I, I love this old uh, antique uh, Swedish phone. Never was able to hook it up to the system, though where all our production starts. As we do a storyboard, I start pinning it up here. And this precedes, of course, going to layout, design, and timing. Here I am in our bookkeeping department in our fantastic bookkeeper, Carol Neal. She uh, handles uh, all our financial woes and Axton Arnold. And she's a uh, true blue production assistant. She does everything. Here she's editing tape, which she does on every show we do. She sets up the recording sessions, then edits the tape, and gets in generally does everything to help a director do his job. This is Phil Roman. Phil Roman's a director and an animator. And he will take, as I will, a storyboard, time it, get it posed, and uh, prepared for animation. This is our layout department. As you can see, Bernard Gruber here is working on a typical layout scene for a Snoopy picture. The job of the layout man is to take the storyboard and enlarge it and put it on pegs and set it up uh, for animation. He poses the character, designs the backgrounds, and composes the scenes. I'm Robert Brown, and I'm also a layout man. I do similar things to Bernie, but one of the things that we do is pick colors for the production. We go by these small charts here and they're gradated for each cell level. And we mark the colors up on the, on the model sheets and uh, we then give that into the production department for them to go ahead. We have space here for a picnic lunch or a game of ping pong. The sequence of the production then moves to the third house. 
Sam James. Sam is also a an animator and a director, and he works on on a uh, film exactly as I do. He'll take a storyboard and time it, pose it, and hand it out to animators. This is a typical, what we call animator flip. You watch, you can see the thing move. And this is what an animator has to solve. To make. In front of you is Al Pabian. One of a long line of Pabians working in this industry. Thank you. Pabian right now, He's taking a scene and completing it, readying it for camera. Pabian, like all of us, is an animator and a an animation artist of long, long experience and great repute. He's, um, I guess he's our senior member of this outfit. Right. Now this is Larry Licklider, and he's animating. Not a typical, but one of the many scenes we have to do on this Peanuts uh, specials. And he's one of our youngest animators. And as you can see, he's going through that painful process, drawing at a time, flipping it in making sure that it's in the proper sequence of events. I'm with T. Schumann. I'm doing assistant animation and a little bit of layout. Hi, I'm Barbara Heastan and I'm a production assistant. I'm Carol Barnes and um, I'm production manager with Bill Melendez Productions. And my main responsibility is to troubleshoot all the work that comes through this department, make sure that everything works properly, and to try to catch all the errors possibly made by the animators, and uh, to try and, and not make any of my own, so that the work moves through, um, it flows through properly with the camera. This is Mickey Kryman. Now, Mickey is a, a, an incredible inker in a letter. She can letter and ink like nobody else can. And as you can see, this is a tracing of Schroeder. We are coming to what is a very talented group of young ladies. We start with Letha Prince, who is a fantastic checker. A checker is a person who sees that everything works in a scene. And they are almost as important as anybody to a making a film. And behind her is Mickey Kryman, whom I've said before is one of the greatest inkers in the business. And to her right is Teal Wang, not only a fantastic model, but a great <laughs> painter. And then we come to Lee Hoffman, great painter, inker, and uh, gad about the industry. <laughs> this is Joanne Lansing. Joanne not only runs the ink and paint department, she also paints our backgrounds and is an incredibly talented little girl. She has been in this business, of course, an awfully long time and we lean on her experience. And here is Eve Watton. Yeah. Eve Watton is her true and uh, honest English name, but she goes by the name of Eve Fletcher, and she's a checker. As you can see, she's one of those girls that sees that everything is proper and fitting and will work. In other words, these are people that are extremely important to making a picture right. And this is Karen Holmquist. Karen is, in our estimation, one of the very fine and extra extra experienced inker in our business and she does almost anything needed to 
increase the qualitative look of a scene. And this is John Pavian. John Pavian comes from a great and famous old cartoonist family. Part of the Tippers and of course the Pavians. There's millions of them. And they've been very active and influential in our business since the 20s. And then over to your right is Elsa. Elsa is not only a great sea tracer and painter, but she's a photographer of note. She is, of course, like so many of us, many talented. And cute too. And in front of you is Susan Wildeman. Wildeman. Wild, Wild man, man in German. <laughs> Wild man in German. And she, of course, is a great tracer and painter, as so many of our girls are. In front of you is Valerie Green. Valerie Green is another one of those famous elements of the Pabian family, of which we have millions of in the industry. Valerie Green used to be Valerie Pabian, Marion. But I like to think of her as being Julie James. She's another member of a great animation tradition. And a cute one, too. Before he's Ginny Hansard, but now she's Tucker. And she, of course, is a very competent and well-trained painter. Watch. Chuck McCann, of course, is an editor, but on top of that, he ramrods a lot of production through the lab and through the studio. And he's, of course, one of great experience in the industry, especially in animation. This is Roger Donnelly. Roger Donnelly is not only a good editor, but he's a, what we whimsically call a music editor. His background is one of being a bandsman with Spike Jones. He used to blow a tuba or play the bass, and therefore is very useful and talented in editing for animated films. Uh -huh, and he has a lot of humor in him, too. Mugshot of uh, uh, Roger Donnelly. Uh, Syracuse, uh, he's another example of the long traditions in our crazy business. His dad, Joe Syracuse, not also was a Mansman with uh, Spike Jones, and is a well-known and and talented uh, music cutter, and he's following it on his dad's tradition. And this is Jane Gonzalez. She's our final checker, and she's the last, the very last chance for us to see that everything is correct before the film goes to camera. And you can see. She has to be a very important cog in the correct completion of the picture. ...of a film, there are many long days of work and tight pressures. After a hard day's work, the streets on Larchmont are once again roaring with the filmmakers' cars. Only this time, there are no Model Ts.